Hello designers, welcome back to new video. Hope you guys are doing great. In this video, we are going to learn about a responsive card design using the feature called auto layout. For example, in the mobile view, uh, the card will be look like this. If you need to convert this uh, card to tab view or else desktop view means we can just pick fragments. It will change whatever uh, the size we need. It will be time saver for every designers. Uh, without further delay, let's get started. Firstly, we'll start with the content here. If you observe my till card content as well as the chips then cta we will start with card title 24 regular will be a bold duplicating the text and making the text to 16 bold to regular then going to the plugin and there will be a lot of whips and content we will add some dummy content generate it will generate some random three to four lines text then we will create these chips by using uh, auto layer text ash on stay then shift a we will make it as auto layout then stroke then we will we'll give 40 as a radius done we will duplicate the same thing and we will change the content to home done we will select the both chips and make it as auto layout because if we duplicate means it will change to give the same space if we need to change the space means we can just drag like this we can set the space accordingly here we will give our bnb if you need more chips we can just duplicate command d or control d we can give stay done then we will create this button the same way just clicking the t then give view more then shift a will make it as auto layout then fill color will give it as blue text color will be white then we'll give a radius to 40 then increase the padding height we'll increase the button with how much we need text will be remain in center itself we will select this heading sub uh, content as well as this chips will make it as auto layout if we adjust this gap everywhere it will change like for example we need set 12 it will set here also 12 here also it will be 12 it is so time saver then we will select this and this button and we will select auto layout we will set this gap between content and button whatever we need just like that then everything will be in full with fixed instead of fixed we will change to full it will change we will give wrap till this will give to full now it is responsive see then we will create this image we will create the frame by 250 by 250 give some radius of 16 go to the plugin select the unsplash type search rbnb and place some of the home stage edges we will select the both image as well as the content we will make it as auto layout that's it we will set the gap between the image and the text by using the drag we will set tool or else we can by setting here itself we can change the distance we will give full color white then give the padding top bottom left and right by 16 pixels the inside of the image will be instead of fix we will change to full content height also full content same here content also instead of fill we will create full content then here full content the main thing is like the button should be placed bottom align bottom center we'll check the responsiveness see if we constrain means the image and contents are shrink shrinky if we expand means it is also behave accordingly the main advantages of the auto layout is if in future we are going to change the content or we reduce the content means we just reduce it means it will work like accordingly we don't need to uh, remove auto layout and all if we need to reduce the one chip means we can simply clicking deleting this means it will work that's it uh, now we are going to uh, break down this layout to mobile version by setting the minimum width if we collect that image and clicking this arrow next to the width means it will show the add minimum width we will queue 250 pixels and maximum width will be 400 the same thing here also the content 250 pixels maximum width maximum width will be then select that overall frame and click the wrap and choose the hug content height will be hug content then width will be fill content then width will be fill content height also hug content that's it if we can just keep just we can move this frame to inside of the frame we'll choose the frame iphone c then control x and control v inside the frame we will align left and top 
will give the exactly 16 y axis 16 shrink this will give the will change the color of the background by lighter color so our card will be so visible if we need to reduce the content we can just reduce into two line then remove these now the card is working fine by just clicking the f and we will take the tab version and we will place it the same card will copy and paste here and we will we'll change the tab version color then change the response color if we need to buy two card duplicate this card one card will use two uh, tab as well as desktop as well as mobile versions i hope uh, this video will be very useful for you if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel we will see in the next video take care bye bye